Are there any levels to what you teach that are related to money? <laughs> For example, do you have to go to a new level in order to be presented a new truth? or any new truth, mm -hmm. do you have to pay for anything? <laughs> I feel a lot of these questions are motivated by people's personal experience of other people who present information, particularly people who prevent, present so-called spiritual truths yeah. have a tendency to be very good at marketing. And we're not marketers at all, because we do everything that we do for free. So no, there is <laughs> as the whole concept of, is, to, of having levels is ludicrous to us. Yeah. But, um, no, there's no way that we would prevent a person from, from receiving any of the truth that we deliver. Obviously, there are times when we prevent them from doing so face to face. If they've treated us badly in mm -hmm. the past or they've been angry with us or something like that, then obviously we'd prevent them from being face to face with us in an interaction. But there's still all the material available for free on the internet and via our hard disk synchronisation service. And all of it, anybody can log on to those particular services and get that, that information. So there's nothing, there's no hidden traps that later on you're going to have to spend some money or, you know, that you get closer to God by spending some money or there's not the Catholic viewpoint that you've got to get out of purgatory by spending some money or, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. any of those things. They're all, that, you know, obviously they're all ways that uh, religion, you know, on the planet has, has fleeced the flock or... Mm -hmm. or harms people, but that's something, something that we don't do at all. And there's certainly nothing that we present that we hold back, is there, no. in terms of, even if there's a small group present, we want the maximum amount of people to benefit from it. So we present it all and uh, yes. on YouTube and on the hard disk drives yes. and things like that. And this is why we actually say to people, look, if you're going to come along to our seminars or any of the events that we have or be involved in anything that we do, you have to be prepared to have your face photographed or, or, or filmed at some point yeah. and to have that on the internet. And if you're not prepared to do that, then don't come along mm -hmm. because we feel quite strongly that everything that happens should be transparent and that everything that should happen that happens should be free of charge to anybody. So there's no extra level that you've got to engage, uh, no extra development you've got to have before you'll receive any more information from us. But if you desire to treat us badly, then obviously we will prevent you from being at our seminars or at our, um, you know, any of the other things that we pr present. So, so that we don't have to put up with the face-to-face -face interaction with a person who's just angry and, and also out of harmony with what we teach. But that being said, those same people, many of them are still watching <laughs> and, and listening from our website or from YouTube or from using the hard disk synchronisation service. So we still provide the gift to those people. Yeah. We just prevent them from uh, attempting to harm us in some personal way. But aside from that, uh, there's no restrictions that we place on the delivery of our material at all. And, uh, as, and since it's for free, then there's no levels that you have to obtain to obtain different material. Yeah. 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 And what about the issue of uh, moving through spheres of development? We often talk about that, don't of we? Of course, yes. Do you associate that with preferential treatment of no. certain people? Or? No. Well, obviously, I, I think... Uh, I think anybody in their right mind would enjoy the company of a person who's more loving to them than a person who's not. <laughs> so, you know, obviously I enjoy the company of people who, who demonstrate love or, or affection or kindness to, or compassion towards me more than I enjoy the company of people who attack me and belittle me and try to humiliate me and pull me down all the time. And I think that's pretty normal. And, and I also believe that that is probably the right thing to do if you had any self-esteem. Yeah. So, so, of course, you know, I am attracted to people who are more loving in their interaction with me. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean those same people are probably loving with other people. I don't really know because I'm not there when they're interacting with other people. I'm just there when I'm, when I'm interacting with them, obviously. But if a person is, uh, you know, in a higher development of love, you know, and we do talk about the development of love, of the soul condition of a person, and if the person is a higher development of love, then obviously they're a far more comfortable person to be around. And even if we have differing opinions, we can discuss them openly without attacking each other and so forth. And that's a really enjoyable experience. And I like enjoyable experiences the same as any other person. So, so yes, there are times when I prefer the company of certain people, certainly. Mm -hmm. and, and I feel that that is a wise thing to do. I prefer the company of people who are open-minded 
who also have a loving heart, have a desire to love, people who have a desire for truth. And I don't prefer the company of people who are either attacking or belittling or want to make fun of you, or are just people who are very resistive and, and always trying to resist truth or resist the fact that they've just been unloving or something like that. So mm -hmm. I don't enjoy the company of those people, so I don't spend that much time with them, mm -hmm. aside from interactions in seminars or, or some other thing that we provide publicly. So yeah, I'm a bit selective like that, and, <laughs> and I'm sure that everybody else probably is as well. <laughs> and I don't see that uh, as an issue of my love actually for people. I still provide the same gifts to people, mm -hmm. whether they've treated me badly or not, mm -hmm. actually. And th there's still the same potential available to all those people who have treated me badly as to, to those that have treated me nicely, yeah. ex with the exception that I don't, I don't have face-to-face -face contact with people who treat me badly. Mm -hmm. And that's the only restriction I place upon any relationship that I have with another person. And so that's not necessarily related to a number value of a sphere or a definitely, level? Definitely it's, not. It's just a very simple yeah. uh, Well, the reality is that most, most of the people who we relate to on a day-to-day -day basis have not yet learnt very much about love and have not yet learnt to have a love of truth either. Mm -hmm. And so if I restricted my my you know access to people who only i felt had a love of truth or had a love of a love of you know becoming a more loving person then i'd probably have to be a hermit you know <laughs> uh, because there'd be so many people that i'd say well i can't be with you because that, that was unloving then sort of thing mm -hmm. but, but that's not what it's like at all that's not what we're like mm. we're very tolerant of people's unloving behavior with the exception that we always were trying to help people somebody improve their unloving behavior yeah. And we're very attracted to people, no matter what unloving condition they're in, who have a desire for truth, who have a desire to, to want to grow and to become more in harmony with love. And, and that doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter to us what their condition currently is. What matters more is their internal desire, what, what they really want to do. Do they really want to change or any of those kind of things? You know, if a person really wants to change, then I'll spend quite a lot of time with them, as you know. Yeah. But if a person doesn't really want to change and doesn't really want to grow, no matter what condition they're in, I, I'm not that interested in spending a lot of time with them. Mm -hmm.